And first you have possibility to get known to reindeer. You can feed them, you can take some photos. And for the reindeer we've got some pellets. But there are a couple of important things about feeding the reindeer. When you feed them, go enough close to them that they are able to reach your hand. And when you are feeding them, please do not bend down or do not go on your knees. Because many of them have antlers, so then antlers comes on the same level with your eye. Also, one very important thing to remember that reindeer, they don't like to be touched, but they love you if you got some food. And the reason why they shouldn't be touched, if our visitors pet them, after a short while they come aggressive and then we can't keep them anymore here with our guests. For 200 different plants that they are able to eat. This is what they prefer to eat during the winter time, lichen, also called reindeer moss. During the summer season they eat mainly different green plants, leaves, hay, and during the autumn they love mushrooms. And the more there are mushrooms in the nature, in better condition they are when they are preparing for the winter season. Founded by a fence. In this area we, we got uh, 100 owners and approximately 6,000 reindeer. So it works like an association. <laughs> During the summer season, when they are free, reindeer they start to gather up to hills, up to highlands, because there is windy, less mosquitoes and other insects. And in September begins the time of love, rut begins. Naturally, they start to gather to bigger herds by themselves and then it is easier for us to find them and we collect them by using motorbikes, ATVs, snowmobiles and in this area, in our cooperative, we got five roundup fences, five spots where we gather the reindeer from 500 to a couple of thousand reindeer per each time and between September to January we try to find all the 6,000 reindeer <coughs> because we need to count them vaccinate them and also time for meat production. different tribes in Aritami, Northern Sami and Skol Sami. And each of these three groups got different language, different costumes and in the history different way of life. In my family we are two groups. My mother she is a Northern Sami, my father and my wife they are in Arisami. And if we compare these three languages, the example word thank you. So let's in Arisami. Dakka. Takka. Northern Sami, Kiitu. Kiitu. And Skold Sami, Spassi. Spassi. So three. 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 So three
58 years ago. The first, my, uh, first they tried to communicate in their own language. My father, he was speaking Inari Sami. My mother, she was speaking Northern Sami. But it didn't work. Example, if my father was asking, would my mother take a boat around the island? My mother, she was wondering why she had to run with a plate over the mountain. <laughs> they got similar words, but meaning was completely different. Then the only option was to speak Finnish together. Finnish became a common language in my family. But there was also influence to me. Both of us, me and my wife, we belong to the generation that never learned Sami language. We learned only Finnish, and it was very common in 70s and 80s. But time has changed. Since 1992, uh, they came a law that children should have a right to get all the education also in Sami language. So like our, our culture autonomy, like our parliament, Sami parliament, which is located in Inan. Have you seen our parliament? Yes. yes. So Sami parliament, uh, main mission of our Sami parliament is to keep our language and culture alive. Like in Ari Sami, we are a minority inside a bigger minority. In the whole world, you find only 1,000 Inari Sami. <coughs> and of 1,000 Inari Sami, only 297 speaks the language. So there's the threat that we lose the language and we lose the whole culture. So there's plenty to do also for us as an individual person to keep our culture alive. But it's also a good excuse to have more children. <laughs> Family sizes are slowly getting bigger again. There was a long period, 30, almost 40 years, that family size was mainly one or two kids. And now it's very common to have bigger family of three or four children. And most of the drums, they were also heliocentric. So there you find the symbol of the sun in the middle. And the rest of the symbols, it depends in which tribe the shaman was living. In Arisami, made their living of foraging, fishing, hunting, and gathering nature products. So in Inarisami drum, there were plenty of bird symbols and fish symbols. No Kada bomo v sako revo? Na ogavalo bomo, bomo bisim, pa so v sako. Ne, lad vin bomo najeti. Lad vin. Forogjali formo. Se zelo so bilo. Ja, 
πάμε. Μόλις θα έτυπη για ένα τέλειο αγγελάκι. Αλλά αυτό είναι τέλειο. Είναι ωραίο. Τέλειο. 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 Δεν το βάλεις έτσι έμεινα κάτσι πάνω, δεν το σπάσει Κάμε σκουότερ για να τα λέει Πρέπει να βάζει βίντεο που θα βρει Μπράβο Ενημερώσω στο vlog, τελευταία μέρα απολαμβάνουμε το έξω Κάναμε έλκυθρο Είναι πανέμορφα αυτή τη στιγμή Να χτυπάει ο ήλιος Λοιπόν, μας θα φύγουμε άλλα βραματικά και ήρθαμε πάρα πολλά αυτό το ταξίδι Φυγές! Benny, Benny. Hello, 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 h